everybody, this is Sir Pierre. Another day, another unboxing. I'm not as at my usual unboxing station because uh, as you can guess, this is a keyboard. And a little bit of backstory as usual. I've been having a hard time finding a new keyboard. And I think that's mostly because I really like my old keyboard. Uh, usually I use Go with, with Logitech. They know what they're doing. They got good products, etc. etc. And my old one uh, is called Key 750, Logitech K750. And it's solar, solar powered, wireless, and very flat. That's the thing I like most about it. It's very flat. And um, my only problem is, okay, in the winter, I have some problem with the solar power thing. So uh, I usually forget to put it in my window and the battery power is low. During the summer, I don't need to have it in my window. You can have it by the computer, it works just fine. But now, let me see. Some keys that I really use, like Q, and W now of course they work uh, and the number pad yeah this one doesn't work I have to punch a bit harder and then it works fine and that kind of irritates me especially uh, the keypad so I've been thinking of buying a new one and my first choice was to get uh, a keyboard that works with iOS products uh, I have a video of that so there you have a switch we can change between the computer and your iPhone and type on iPhone. Uh, seems very nice, but the keyboard were, was very plastic. I didn't like that feeling at all and it wasn't flat enough. Then I decided to get the K800, I think it's called, or maybe 850. I think it's called 850. Uh, it's this but the newer model and without the solar power thing and I have uh, backlight keys all right fine so I checked Logitech site it was sold out uh, I checked with a Swedish store called Netonet and there they have two very different prices of the key H50 K850 let me see if you just uh, have the right number there K800 I think is called yeah, K800. The K850 is a combined uh, keyboard with the, with the mouse. So K800 is the one that, that I'm talking about. It seems fine. A bit thicker than this one, but it seems fine. Uh, I asked Netonet what I had two different prices. They say it was the old model and, and the new model. So I emailed Logitech to, to uh, get to know what the new model was, what, what, what the new thing was. Because the thing with many Logitech keyboards, as this one, people love the old one and really hate the new one. Uh, I don't know why, but maybe Logitech have been cheaping out with the products. I don't know. Either way, it was sold out for like two months and then I didn't buy it anymore. So I was just going for a flat keyboard. And I realized it doesn't have to be... Uh, wireless because I only use it by my computer so then we have this K740 a number lower than this one and I what I understand the higher the number the better or the more expensive the keyboard so this should be a wired version of this one and uh, the number is that it's a bit thicker uh, but not much. I don't think it was. If this was, I, I don't know. I'm gonna put those number uh, in in my blog post. So I really ha uh, hope I'm gonna be satisfied with this one. Uh, I don't like um, the wrist pad on 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 any keyboard, uh, but. People really seems to love this one, but we have the same issue here that people love the old one, both home and at work and everything, 
but they hate the new one. And the new one uh, in Scandinavia, we can see that they have both Norwegian, Swedish and Danish uh, letters. And the old one only had either only Danish or only Swedish. So that's the new version. But it's flat. I like the glass frame. The keys are a bit thicker than this one. Yeah, they are. And it's backlighted. So I'm gonna plug it in and uh, get back to you. Okay, so I must admit, the cable kind of ruins the look for me a bit. Um, but yeah, I shouldn't be bothered. And I thought that the, the cable is 1.88 meters. I think that's about six feet. And I thought that that's going to be well good enough. But actually, when I have it like this, it's used precisely that it uh, reaches the computer that I have under my, under my desk. The backlight thing is nice. The quality is absolutely good. Not that plastic shit like the old or the other model that I tried. Uh, it's just that... I have to punch the keys a bit harder and a bit uh, deeper than uh, on this one. So the keys are a bit longer, a bit higher, uh, a bit, a bit harder damped, but I think I'm gonna like it. This doesn't bother me at all not at all uh, it helps it helps to make the keyboard feel a bit flatter than it is and i think it is um, let me see how i can do this all right now you realize how how thin this is i can fit this keyboard under this one so this is this is a great one i really should have bought just another new one but I usually blog at night and in the summer it gets so warm in my uh, living room so I have to have the lights turned off. So backlight is nice and I still have a program, programmable keys. I've read, it doesn't bother anything for me, but I read that the guys that are gaming, there is some kind of option that is not uh, available on this one. But I don't care, I, I only... Uh, type and here I change the light yeah a couple of steps three steps I think I like it and it directly connected to the computer of course but I think I'm gonna use the same software that I have with the logotech mouse to program the keyboard but I think that is it. Uh, so far, so good. Um, the keys are a bit longer, a bit harder. Uh, it sort of feels like a mechanic keyboard. And I like the touch of a uh, laptop keyboard. But yeah, this is it. Logitech K740. Uh, I think the price was maybe 120 euros, maybe a bit more, I don't remember actually. But ask me if you have any question, please like my video, thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you. I thought I was going to show you when I had the light turned off uh, to see how much it light. I, mean, I don't know if you could see it earlier in the video. So this is off, step three, step two, step one, off. Uh, step three maybe a bit much when you have the room completely darkened So it's nice that, they, that you have three steps uh, Ask me if you like to know anything more about the keyboard and I will try to to answer you All right, there is already one thing that bothers me a lot the space bar is too stubborn and I like it when I can uh, change the position of my keyboard easily 
So I think we're just gonna get rid of the rubber things. Because this one, I can use glider around, and I like this. This one, not as easy. But the space bar being so stubborn, that kind of irritates me. So when I use type a word and and use to try, yeah. So I missed it. This doesn't activate it. This this does. So yeah. Not even every other time the space bar uh, taps. And that irritates me. This doesn't move it at all. It's just in the same place. But if I do like this, but I don't, I don't want to do like this on the space bar every time. This should be enough. Yeah, that's that's maybe a deal breaker. That maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. Let me know if any other have this problem. Maybe it's just a problem with just my keyboard. 